What is a wealthy mindset and how do you get rich with it? Watch this. You know those sayings, think and grow rich? Well, if thought creates, you are the creator of your reality. And what you are living in your reality is literally a byproduct of your thoughts from your inner mind to your outer world. That's how it works. Now, if let's say you don't want to do something that you really need to do, but you don't want to do it because you're feeling lazy or you feel like you just need some time off, you don't want to exert the energy. This is great. You're going to love this. This is preventing you from being wealthy. You have to be active to be wealthy. You have to do to be wealthy and you have to spend to be wealthy. Now, that thought of money brings money, yes, that's one way of making money. However, being active is a great way of building your wealth. This is why. When you are not wanting to do something, you are purposely not wanting to exert the energy. You don't want to spend the energy. Therefore, you are being cheap. You are being in a scarcity lack mindset. It doesn't necessarily have to be money, but it's still your energy. You don't want to do it. Why? Because you're tired. Why? Because you think you're not going to get the energy back or you don't have the energy to do what you want to do when you should be doing it, even though you don't want to do it. But once you start doing what you needed to do in the first place, your energy will just start recharging itself like an electric car or just the kinetic energy within yourself, within your own being, will start to replenish and regenerate that electric energy. And you'll just start creating. You'll start generating abundance, abundant energy, abundant flow, that I can attitude, that I can beingness is what will attract more of that abundance, that wealth in energy. You don't want to do your laundry because you just don't want to do your laundry. Why? You don't want to put in the effort. Is that effort, does that effort cost you anything? Is that effort costly to you? No. No, it's not. You have the coins to do your laundry or the washing machine to do the laundry or the detergent to do the laundry? Absolutely. Okay, so why don't you want to do it? Because you don't want to spend the energy. Once you start spending the energy and you start being mindful of what you're putting out into the world, you will realize that the world is going to start putting that back out into your world as well. So if you don't want to show up for someone, when you need someone to show up for you at a moment's notice, and they don't show up for you, think of the times in the most recent time in your life when someone needed you and you weren't there for them. Now look at how that's mirroring itself because energy is currency. You are either wealthy in your mindset or you are not. Are you going to go get the 99 cent menu at McDonald's because it's affordable, it's cheap, even though you don't know what it is that you're eating anyway. You believe it because it was on TV. Why? So many couples are at restaurants sharing a steak dinner. Why? Your wallet is none of my business. You're paying me for my services, so I'm very grateful. But if you want wealth to generate itself into your reality, then you need to actively participate in your reality. Now, I understand you might say, well, maybe they didn't want the whole steak for themselves. I understand. But that's a bit awkward. At a fine dining restaurant, you share a steak. And this is a very common theme I'm noticing in restaurants nowadays. Is it the lack mindset? Is it the personal lack mindset? So does this person not think that they're worthy of a whole steak dinner? Again, wealth mindset, having nothing to do with money or currency but more about status of worthiness and energy and self-ideation, the way a person identifies themselves. So if your self-ideation is rooted in lack, poverty, not being worthy, it's going to reflect and mirror itself in your outer world. This is my call to you to tell you that you are worthy. You deserve the whole steak dinner. You deserve everything. You even deserve the shopping spree. You deserve it all. Go buy that lotto ticket. Go wear that dress that you've been keeping in your closet hidden for so many years because you've just been too scared to wear it. If you want to be successful in everything that you are setting out to accomplish, it begins with the way that you think about yourself and what you think you deserve. I only want the best for you. This is your experience. It's not mine. Why are you giving me a thumbs up? I have to put my hands down because I'm getting automatic thumbs ups during this podcast. This is your time to shine. I am literally here for you to tell you 
your truth. I'm not here to bring out your truth and to use it against you. I'm here to help you with your truth and help you grow from it. In order to grow and live a really, really great life, you have to know in yourself. You have to know in your abilities and you have to know what you are creating for yourself. Think about everything that you say. Do you say it in jest so you're funny? So you're accepted by the people around you? Do you buy what you buy because you want to use it as some form of artifact to prove that you are better than these people that you surround yourself with? Then why do you do it if you know that you're better than these people? Why are you with people who make you feel less than? These are all examples. If this applies to you, you have to come back to yourself. You are worthy. You are great. And once you know that you are worthy and you are great, not from ego, but from a sense of wholeness and spirit, because you are connected to all that is. Once you do that, you'll be able to operate from a more authentic place. You will be able to truly experience this life the way that you've truly wanted to experience it without those challenges, without those distractions, and without all that nonsense. My name is Eric. If you would love to work with me, you know what to do. Have a blessed day. Till the next video. You got this. And I know in you.